the systems lost about seven trillion dollars. That's T trillion. We don't know quite yet what the regulations are going to require in terms of capital adequacy. If that number is not nine percent, but it's ten percent, that number goes to ten trillion. And let's see what he has to say today that might be either equally controversial or give us some insight as to what's going to happen over the next 18 months. Ethan? You know, this has never been about real estate. It's about finance. So if you take NOI down 25%, and if you can't change cap rates from 6% to 7.5%, that alone takes average values down 53% in the country. 53%, okay? I think there's a tremendous opportunity to make 90% loans on today's values at what I would call historically widespread, but a reasonable total rate. On a risk-adjusted basis, you know, America is going to look pretty good pretty soon. Since that time, and for all time and memorial before that, uh, housing has been the great repository of America's wealth. So what's going to happen? Well, there are a lot of good signs here. But here's the really big driver. Somebody mentioned it in the last panel very quickly. This is the population turning 18. This is the echo baby boom. And that is going to lead to enormous demand, first for apartments, and then after a little while, it's going to lead for demand, uh, to demand for housing as well. Legacy Securities Program can also be a purchaser under the TALF program, the PPIP program, the Public Private Investment Program. Banks are reluctant to sell assets and take the market except they went bankrupt the day after they finished putting $130 million into a 200,000 square foot building because they built a data center. But again, what's the lesson learned here? We created time for ourselves. I mean, think about it. We started out in this project in 2000, and it's now 2009, and we're still in it. Because today, the best buying opportunities come from the debt side. When we talk about the opportunities today, it is not the Queen Mary that we can buy, okay? There's no big Queen Mary. There's nobody who's rung a bell and said we're at the bottom. This is a great time to get in. What you're buying today is the rust or the scrap that falls off the Queen Mary, okay? And from that junk that's out there is where you can find some great opportunities.